that shape, these problems, and the many others which arise, are being attacked with increased confidence. But in the USSR, there is little doubt that the power of Allied command is daily becoming greater. The mouthpieces of the Kremlin denounce the work as aggressive, and the command as a treacherous alliance against the Soviets. But the record of history is against the Soviets. This is the pattern of aggression which has threatened the peace of the free world since the end of the war. Allied command is being built to ensure that it will not dominate the future. And to each successive meeting of the NATO Council, the Supreme Commander was able to report that despite shortages, despite national economic crises, despite differences, Allied command, though not yet strong enough to meet a determined Soviet attack, was daily becoming a well-marshaled and organized force, proud of itself and its purpose. But the final success of a crusade which has just begun will depend on the efforts of all men of goodwill in all the countries which have joined together to preserve peace. France, Iceland, Great Britain, the United States, Denmark, Italy, Canada, Belgium, Portugal, the Netherlands, Norway, Luxembourg. In their continued unity lies the real hope of the free world. <laughs>